All right, now we're going to go ahead in section 8.2, and we're going to talk about simplifying rational expressions, which in other words basically means the word reduce. Reduce. All right. Now, if we're going to reduce, we got to follow the same two rules as before. From the last video, first of all, make sure we put in parentheses, and secondly, what values of x are undefined. Now, why do I tell you to do that? Well, because of this example. A lot of high school mathematical students look at this particular problem and say, oh, Mr. Huner, I can reduce the twos, and therefore my answer is x plus 3 divided by x. No, no, you cannot do that. That does not work. That's why rule number one is in place. You must put parentheses around variables and stuff that is added or subtracted. They go together. Therefore, you reduce stuff, stuff meaning like what's in the parentheses, stuff together. You reduce top and bottom together. In this particular problem, I cannot reduce because x minus 2 is not the same as x plus 3. And there's only a 2 on top and there's no 2 on the bottom. This problem is already simplified. People do not do this. Highly illegal. All right, let's talk about some things we can simplify. Problem letter A. X plus 3 on the top, 4 times X minus 7 times X plus 3 on the bottom. Well, first of all, rule number 1, it's X plus 3. We're going to put it in parentheses. Now, is there anything that's on the, same, on the top and bottom that's the same? Well, yeah, X plus 3 on top and x plus 3 in the bottom are both in the parentheses. Therefore, I can reduce them. Now, what's left on top? Nothing. Therefore, I have the placeholder 1, and on the bottom I have 4 times x minus 7. That is in simplest form. Now, people, what can't x be? Well, when I started this problem out, before I reduced it, x cannot be 7 because this piece right here, if x is 7, that becomes 0. And this piece right here, which I canceled out, x can also not be negative 3. Those are the two numbers that make this original problem undefined. The problem is undefined if you have one of those two values for x. All right, letter B. Uh-oh. x squared minus 2x minus 3 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 4. Again, all this stuff goes together. It must be reduced together. I can't pick and choose what pieces to reduce. Now, however, it's squared... Anytime you have a squared numerator or denominator, you must factor completely before reducing. Got to do that first. Okay, so here we go. Let's factor the numerator. I'm going to put in my sets of parentheses. Let's see, it's x squared, therefore it's x and x. The last sign is negative, that means positive and negative. Two numbers at times together give you 3. I believe that's negative 3 and plus 1. The denominator, factor the denominator. All right, x and x, positive sign, they're both the same. And 4, therefore I believe I'm going to have a plus 4 and a plus 1. I have just factored completely. Now, before I reduce, what cannot x be? What numbers causes the function to be undefined? Well, in this particular case, x cannot be negative 4. x cannot be negative 4. And in this case, x cannot be negative 1. 
those are the values that cause this problem to be undefined. Now, what can I reduce? I can reduce the plus x plus 1 on the bottom with the 1 on the top, which leaves me the final reduced problem of x minus 3 divided by x plus 4, and that is my simplification. Let's talk multiply. What if I got some things that are times together? Well, first of all, since it's times together, the first thing is you can make this one big divide line. But then also, x plus 2 has got to be in parentheses because that goes together. And the x plus 4 has to go together. And the 3x plus 12 and the x squared minus 4. Please put those parentheses in. Now i got a factor. This becomes x plus 2 times x plus 4 on the top. I can't factor any of that. But 3x plus 12, I can factor out a 3, which will leave me 3 times x plus 4. And x squared minus 4 is a perfect square binomial. I can factor that into x and x and x plus 2 and x minus 2. Now, what values cause x to be undefined? What values don't work for x? Well, let's look at all our x's in the denominator. That factor right there, x cannot be negative 4. This factor right there, x cannot be negative 2. And this factor right there, x cannot be positive 2. All those numbers will cause our denominator to be 0, which is bad, bad, bad. The denominator cannot be equal to 0. That's bad. All right, good. Well, anyhow, what can I reduce? I can reduce, there's an x plus 2 on the top and an x plus 2 on the bottom. There's an x plus 4 on the top and an x plus 4 on the bottom. The top is all gone, which leaves me the placeholder 1. And on the bottom, I have 3 times x minus 2, which is my simplification. Last. Divide. Divide works just like times, except for you learned in middle school. When you divide two fractions, S, C, R, same. Change it to times and flip that fraction over so it's a reciprocal. So here we go. 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 divided by x squared minus 9. That stays the same. Time, divide becomes times. I'm going to put a dot there instead, people. And then the second fraction, we reciprocate it. We flip it over. And so I have this. Now i got a factor. This piece right there. Throw in your two sets of parentheses. And it doesn't take too much work. I believe this is minus, I believe this is going to be minus 4 and plus 1, which will produce negative 7x in the middle. x squared minus 9, perfect square binomial. x minus 3, x plus 3. That's easy. The times, so I can draw my line all the way across since now it's times. The bottom, let's do the bottom. That's another perfect square binomial. That would be 2x plus 1 and 2x minus 1. Now, let's talk about the top here. It's got a common factor, which is 4. So what's left? If I factor out a 4, 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. Oh, good. That's factorable. So I'm going to put the 4 in there and two sets of parentheses for this part. I'll have 2x and x. Positive and negative means the signs are both minus and 3 times 1. Yeah, that works out perfectly. Super. Well, what values for x cause the function to be undefined? Well, x minus 3. So x cannot be equal to 3. This one's x plus 3. Therefore, x can also not be negative 3. 2x plus 1. Well, 2x plus 1 equals 0. And if I solve that, I minus 1 from both sides. And therefore, I divide by 2, and I get negative 1 half. So x can also not be negative 1 half. And this factor right there, x cannot be positive 1 half. Those are the four values that cause my denominator to be 0. Bad, bad, bad. 
Okay. Anyhow, what can reduce now? Let's see. We have a 2x plus 1 on top and a 2x plus 1 on the bottom. We have a 2x minus 1 on top and a 2x minus 1 on the bottom. And an x minus 3 on top and an x minus 3 on bottom. Oh, that's good. Lot reduces. Therefore, the 4 is still there. The x minus 4 is still there. Those are in the numerator. And this is the only thing in the denominator, x plus 3. And people, that is how you simplify rational expressions.